It was the last week of May, 1999. I was finishing my first legislative session and out of sheer frustration at the way things were in Texas politics, I called my dad and I said, I don't know if I wanna even stay in this arena anymore. Well, he had called me and, and he asked me uh, what he could do you know, to uh, uh, help with the situation and I just simply said, well, instead of looking at the way things are, how about thinking about the way things could be? And that was the birth of Patriot Academy. <laughs> Well, of course, when I envisioned how things could be, I was envisioning thousands of young people coming to the state capitol as a part of the very first Patriot Academy, and we got about 20. So it wasn't everything that I dreamed it would be, but it was a good beginning, and it gave us a chance to learn how to put on a leadership congress for these students. We had several years with just a small group of students, but it very quickly began to catch on, and people around the state wanted to be a part of it. I had been running for Texas Supreme Court all over the state of Texas, which is a big state to campaign in, without a doubt. And I've been talking about the Constitution everywhere that I went. And so people after the campaign asked me to come back and teach a full-blown Constitution class. And it really just exploded from there. I mean, we were teaching the Constitution class in all 50 states, and people were asking for more and more material and also wanting to host their own classes. And that was the beginning of the Constitution Coach program. Well, our first Constitution video set was actually filmed at a church in East Texas. People loved it because the content it was good, the audience was great asking questions that night, but David Barton gave me the idea of actually filming in Independence Hall. And that for me was like a dream because I'm, I'm standing in the room where the Constitution was created, teaching on the Constitution. So I mean, it, it couldn't be a better place to be teaching on it. I think that's really part of what made the class take off because when you do the videos, it's like you're being taken into Independence Hall. The Constitution class took on a whole nother level. Well, I was one of those guys that thought, I don't need gun training. You know, I grew up shooting guns on the ranch, so nobody needs to train me. But my son, I need to make sure he gets good training. So when Trey turned 16 years old, I took him out to do his first constitutional defense course and actually get some handgun training. And I was the one that actually learned the most. He didn't have to break any bad habits. I was breaking bad habits. He was learning all the good stuff from the beginning. And we decided we wanted to teach the Constitution with the handgun training. And that's when we started doing constitutional defense courses for other people from across the nation. Constitution Coach Program is growing. We've got several hundred coaches hosting classes. Constitutional Defense Program is growing. Thousands of people are coming with us to get their training on handgun and the Constitution. And then COVID hits. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. It's hard to meet an American whose life hasn't already been affected in such a short period of time by this virus. Well, everything's canceled. All of our classes across, all of my speaking engagements are canceled. Constitutional defense courses are canceled. I mean, there's nothing on the schedule, but that's a good thing because now the phone is ringing off the hook. Everybody's asking all of a sudden, can government do this to us? Can they shut down our church? Can they shut down my business. I mean, people that had never paid attention to the Constitution before were suddenly very interested in what the Constitution had to say about the overreach of government. And the number one question we got, can they shut my church down? People wanted to know what is the church's proper response to an overreach of our government? Is it proper for us as Christians to say no to government? And that was the birth of biblical citizenship in modern America. We knew we needed to approach this from a biblical perspective and a constitutional perspective. And it became the perfect combination for churches to be able to educate their congregations on the biblical worldview of constitutional governance. It was a, a, a for such a time as this moment where all of these people were aligned. David Barton, Tim Barton, 
pastors like Jack Hibbs and Rob McCoy, D Rabbi Daniel Lappin, media moguls like Jeremy Boring. I mean, all of these people were saying, we have to teach the church the proper response to this, and that created biblical citizenship. And then Kirk Cameron and Marshall Foster and the Campfire Revival, just phenomenal content. And Kirk got excited about teaming up. We got excited about teaming up with Kirk, and now we have all these campfire coaches across the country. People were so hungry for truth, and God had prepared us at that moment to teach the very same things we'd been teaching for years, but to a new hungry audience. We're growing at like 400% a year. So every year is just exponentially growing. Hundreds of thousands of people going through the courses and millions of people listening to us on media and radio and all these outlets. So God really opened the door for us to be able to answer these questions and serve the nation on this question of how do you respond to a situation like COVID. There is a window of opportunity right now for millions of people to be converted to the biblical principles of liberty and Patriot Academy is positioned perfectly to teach those people, to educate them, to inspire them, and to give them the action steps of how to be good biblical citizens. We are prepared to provide the intellectual ammunition for millions of Americans on the front lines in the battle for the heart and soul of America. For any citizen that wants to make a difference, that wants to have an impact, that wants to leave a legacy of liberty for their children and grandchildren, Patriot Academy has become the vehicle for them to do that. Not only are we gonna train and equip millions of Americans to make a difference, we're gonna leave lead the charge in re-educating a nation on what the principles of liberty are, how they work, and how to restore the federalism that will pass this torch of freedom intact to the next generation. People of all ages that are willing to say, I'll give of my life, I'll give of my fortune, my sacred honor, to make sure that the next generation enjoys liberty. That's going to be the legacy of Patriot Academy.